I started playing cricket when I was eight or seven or eight. Uh, we just moved down from Sydney, obviously being a Healy, we we're all born in Queensland and um, we made the, the risky move down to New South Wales and um, I started playing down here just at the a local cricket park, I think it was um, in Milo Cricket back in the day. So that was where I first sort of got a taste of it. Obviously having the last name Healy, I'd obviously been exposed to cricket a lot, watching Uncle Ian on the telly, um, seeing Dad play every Saturday down at the local cricket club. But um, it was my first experience and, and from there I sort of fell in love with it and it just seemed to be my constant every summer. I'd, I'd play, you know, hockey and all sorts of sports in the winter and then come summer it'd be cricket. So progressed through the boys' ranks at, at Carlingford um, Waratahs and um, yeah, and ended up playing for Australia. So it's, it's been a pretty remarkable journey. I think there was constant hurdles uh, you had to jump over being a female in the sport. Obviously, nowadays we're really lucky. There's a lot more opportunities for young girls to get into the game, also to stay in the game with their friends. There's lots of girls only competitions. For us back then, the, my only choice was to play with the boys. And fortunately for me, I was really comfortable to do that. And, um, you know, I loved it. I, I really enjoyed my junior cricketing experience. So lots of hurdles. Obviously, gear is a big one. I think finding gear that fit me, being a small um, little girl running around. And obviously just that, oh, whatever it might be, when you rock up and there's a girl in the side and, and all the boys are like oh, taken aback by it. The parents aren't sure what's going to happen. Um, so living with that has always never really fazed me too much. I've just gone out there, enjoyed the game of cricket and I've had great experience. I think probably naturally within the family watching Uncle Ian Wicket Keep was, um, yeah, it was just a really cool, cool thing to watch. I think at the time I wasn't probably appreciative of what he was doing and how good he was. And uh, it's probably only now that I'm doing the same thing that I, that I can appreciate um, just how good of a gloveman he was. So once I sort of discovered women's cricket and, and saw there was a, a women's team, which was actually right here at Bankstown Oval. Dad brought me out and we watched the girls play. Um, I saw Julia Price um, take a hanger in front of first slip just here and I thought that was pretty cool. So, you know, if I could be somewhere between Uncle Ian and Julia Price, I thought, you know, maybe I could one day play for Australia myself. It was a really surreal experience, I guess, to get the phone call to say you're going to play for Australia. Obviously, being a wicket keeper, you normally have to bide your time a little bit, um, sort of fight your way into the side. But I guess fortunately for myself, there was a few injuries with the wicket keepers before me and it probably gifted me a few opportunities, um, potentially before I might have been ready. But at the same time, um, you know, it gave me an opportunity to, to get my baggy green and, and to play for Australia. And I feel really fortunate that 12 years on, I'm, I'm still repping these colours and, and hopefully doing, you know, that, that generation proud, but also inspiring the next generation to want to do it as well. The bats are always amazing, but I guess for, for me, it's just a really exciting day to know that us as, as female players or potentially smaller players are, um, are going to be well looked after. I think it's, um, it's a momentous occasion, I think, after playing the game for as long as I have. And, um, and seeing what you know all the generations have done to the women's game to see um, Kookaburra really jump in behind the women's game and support it, um, yeah, it means a lot to us as cricketers, but but also to, to someone like myself who's never swung anything other than a Kookaburra. All I ever wanted to use was a Kookaburra bat, and I was fortunate enough to be, get given one at 15 years of age, and and I never I've never used anything else. So for me, it's um, it's really exciting and. Um, I'm incredibly proud to be as loyal as what I have been to Kookaburra and to see them turn around and, and repay that loyalty with um, some amazing equipment and, and something that's going to be really suited to the women's game is, is really exciting. So um, yeah, I'm really pumped and like I said, I think the colours are awesome and I can't wait to get out there and swing them. Yeah, I think these are awesome. Probably one of the main reasons that I've always wanted to use Kookaburra was because of the wicket keeping gloves and obviously pretty iconic with the Healy name. but. Um, for myself, they were always just the best, um, the best, best looking, um, the best made. And, um, you know, after what, 12 odd years at international cricket, I can still say that they are. So uh, this is really exciting. And obviously to have um, a pair that, you know, are going to fit really nicely, especially for someone like myself, who has the smallest hands on the planet and was always destined to be a wiki keeper because there's no chance I can catch them without a pair of gloves. So uh, I'm really excited to put these in and know that you know, I'm going to have a really snug fit. Um, they're going to fit me nicely and, and hopefully the balls can, can stick in there and take a few dismissals. 
Empower yourself to be your absolute best.